The GOP presidential race heats up as the countdown to the March 19th Ohio primary election has ticked down to six months. Today, the race for president came to Ohio, but in a way, it really stayed here in Ohio. 10TV's political reporter Doug Petcast joins us in studio tonight with more on the campaign event for Ohio's own presidential candidate, Doug. You know, Andrew and Yolanda, seven U.S. presidents were born in Ohio. Republican Vivek Ramaswamy hopes to be the eighth. Today, the Cincinnati native and Columbus resident delivered a message on his home turf about protecting our homeland from communist Chinese influence. We're in the middle of a national identity crisis today. Republican presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy told a crowd of workers and supporters at Atrium Packaging in New Albany one of the ways to restore that identity is by, as he put it, declaring independence from communist China. Our greatest adversary is also our greatest supplier of the very military equipment that we build to deter that adversary. The posters behind him on stage lay out his vision for breaking free from Chinese economic influence if he's elected president. One of them reads, dismantle the climate agenda and harness America's resource wealth. Is on day one, we will rescind any unconstitutional federal regulation from the EPA to the Department of Energy to the SEC that requires even the measurement or the reporting of carbon dioxide emissions, we are done with it, to instead focus on GDP growth. Ramaswamy also said America must bring more semiconductor production back here, pointing out the massive Intel memory chip plant being built in central Ohio. The fact that we ever got here, the fact that our entire modern way of life depended on a set of islands off the southeast coast of China is a shame. We must learn from our past or we're destined to make the same mistakes again. At 38 years old, Ramaswamy says he is the youngest candidate to ever run for president as a Republican. And now he's getting ready to take on his older competitors once again in the next debate, Andrew. All right, Doug, thanks so much. And that debate is next Wednesday. At least six candidates appear to have qualified, including former President Donald Trump. If you remember, Trump did not take part in the first debate. It's unclear if that will happen this time around. Among those who have qualified, Mr. Trump's former Vice President Mike Pence and Warmer Swanee.